Amberly Vogelsang here, Amy Wade's National Sales Manager, and I'm here joined with Tom Bowen. Here, at, uh, he's a pharmacist here at Pillbox Pharmacy in Davie. There's a few locations, but we're at the Davie location, and we're live, so don't be afraid if you hear the phones ringing, if you hear people coming in and out of the doors. Um, but I really wanted to take the moment to come over here and join Tom so he can uh, go over a few things related to International Infection Prevention Week. So we treat a lot of conditions with Emuaid and Emuaid Max, first aid ointments that are really known to um, get infected. So we wanted to take this opportunity to go over the difference between both of the ointments, which ones uh, to use related to a few particular conditions that are really known to uh, get infection, and go over the importance of cleaning it and dressing it. So to kind of touch on uh, the difference between regular strength and maximum strength immunity, the two right here. We have the regular strength and they both have the same ingredients, but the maximum three key infection fighting and healing ingredients. And that's 10 times more tea tree oil, 50 times more vitamin E, and two times more bacillus ferment or probiotic. So they actually have the same active Argentum metallicum silver, which is a great broad spectrum ingredient for infection. It's an antiseptic, analgesic. Um, and then we out actually also have our therapeutic moisture bar. So in terms of cleansing wounds, we definitely recommend using this. So I kind of want to turn it over to Tom to go over the importance of, you know, just kind of how to properly care for a wound from a medical expert. If you get a wound, the best thing to do is clean it. Irrigate it with some sodium chloride, some saline, and then apply something like Imuade. It has silver in it, which is great for wounds. It also has antibacterial properties and antifungal, which will keep the wound free of bacteria and fungus and help it heal. Um, the next thing you want to do is put a gauze over it, and maybe wrap it just to keep it clean and dry. Yeah, and that's particularly uh, important for certain conditions like bed sores. That's a big condition that uh, we treat with the regular strength. In terms of recommending the ointments, um, we're gonna kind of focus on the regular strength for these conditions for International Infection Prevention Week because regular strength is what we recommend for open wound, uh, an open wound. And that's because it has, uh, the maximum strength has more tea tree oil in it. So for some customers, um, there's like a tingly sensation associated with the, the maximum strength. So we definitely always recommend to start with the regular strength. And if you feel like you need to bump up to the maximum strength with that higher tea tree oil, more bacillus ferment, and that higher vitamin E, uh, you're always more than welcome to do so. Um, but to kind of tie it back to bed sores, that's a really common question that we get is, you know, what can I do to help, you know, my mom, if you're buying this for your, your mom or if you're a caregiver or for yourself, what can I do to um, treat my bed sores? Um, kind of toss that back over yeah. to Tom. <laughs> to prevent the bed sores, the best thing to do is move the person around, put them in different positions in the bed, change their positioning, um, maybe get them an A crate for underneath them or some kind of cushion. If you see some of the skin getting red or maybe starting to break, you can start putting some of the Imuate on it. Maybe even use a foam pad in the area wherever the sore is. Um, it'll help it, um, you know, prevent it from getting worse and help it heal up. Yeah, and you know, one of the biggest things you can do in terms of moving someone for a bed sore condition like that is also just always making sure a wound is being cleaned. Um, you had some really great tips for that you were telling us earlier about cleaning a wound. What, what are some of those? Um, irrigate the wound with some sodium chloride. Uh, saline, keep it, uh, make, let it dry with some gauze, and put some emulate on it. And when you say Cover irrigate it, it, for anyone that doesn't know what irrigate means, just kind of explain what irrigation means. You get like some sterile saline, they have it in a bottle or a jug, and either spray it on the wound and it'll just kind of flush some of the particles in there if there's fabric or anything in there, any, any sludge. And then also you can pour it on um, and irrigate the, the fluid out, let it air dry, and then go ahead and put something else on it to prevent it from getting worse or infected. And then what kind of bandage does someone want to use on these kind of wounds? You can use anything simply from gauze or a silicone bandage is really good if you can get a silicone or a foam. Um, they're a little more pricey, but they work really well. The silicone allows it to heal. The foam gives it a nice cushion, prevents it from getting worse. So any kind of foam or silicone. And again, silver is really good for wound, which is in Imuate. So Silver is great to put on wounds. Excellent. And another condition that Emuaid and Emuaid Max actually is really great for that we treat is shingles. So can you describe a little bit of shingles and how to treat and prevent shingles? Yeah, shingles is a, a flare up of the virus and the person's skin will kind of get pustule and it'll break, uh, gets oozy. Uh, you want to keep that clean. So again, you can irrigate it and put some Emuaid on it. It helps with preventing it from getting infected. It helps it heal up faster, um, prevents any kind of spread. 
Uh, you want to put some gauze over it to keep it dry. We recently had someone who had some on their face. They got some shingles, and we recommended Immuate regular strength, and uh, they put on their face, and it helped them a lot, a lot. Awesome. So those are just some of our points that we really wanted to take a few minutes out for you guys to uh, learn and understand about using the product, particularly for conditions that are known to get more infections. So number one would be always make sure irrigated like what Tom was saying. Make sure you use a product like Emuade or Emuade Max to help with the infection and to accelerate that wound healing. Um, and then a product like the Therapeutic Moisture Bar is excellent for in the shower for bathing to gently help to cleanse any open wounds on your skin as well. So we really just want to thank you. I want to thank Tom for taking a few oh, minutes you. out here and going over everything with us. And we're going to go ahead and let everyone get back to their day. And uh, we hope you learned a little bit about us. So thanks for watching, guys.